so here we're seeing the vampire bat displaying really how it laps blood out of the, the animal that it's feeding on. You can see some key features like how the tongue really has these cool grooves that allow the blood to flow back. The tongue also excretes an anticoagulant which really keeps the blood flowing. So the way that the vampire bat feeds is not by sucking blood through its big canine teeth, but rather making a small divot into the flesh of the animal and then lapping it up with its tongue. And like their teeth are so tiny and sharp that you barely feel it. It's like a needle prick. Vampire bats often wait to forage until the night is completely dark, so that's often after the moon has disappeared from the sky. Uh, you can see these bats are really good flyers, but they're also incredibly good on the ground. Uh, and this is a really rare trait for a bat species, to be able to walk on the ground, even hop and run. Uh, and this provides a really nice way for the bats to avoid getting squashed or getting captured uh, by the animals that they're trying to feed on. So you can see a really stealthy stalking up to the animal as well as hopping around. Um, and while the bat's doing that, part of what it may be doing is finding the right place to bite. Uh, so it can either hop up to the animal or it can fly directly onto the animal landing. Uh, often in the case of a cow, it'll land on the back. The bat will then use some infrared sensors, basically trying to find the part of the animal where the blood is flowing most close to the skin. And that's the site that it'll use uh, to make that initial bite wound and then lap up the blood. Uh, cows obviously feel the bat landing and like try to even get, get the bat off of them but eventually the cow gives up and the bats are, are able to return to the spot where they wanted to feed. At least it's not bothered enough that it continues to struggle against the bat. There is something a little bit creepy about a mammal that lives exclusively on blood, uh, and the, a lot of the behaviors that you see in a vampire bat, things like creeping around um, and having that really long tongue and triangular teeth, all of that fits into the kind of Dracula vampire stereotype. So it is, a, in some ways, a fair characterization, but it's also important to know that these are totally fascinating animals that are completely and perfectly adapted to their lifestyle of feeding just on blood.